you've probably heard the buzzword autophagy. It's the body's cellular cleanup crew, the Nobel Prize winning process that helps us recycle old damaged cell parts. And with all the hype come a lot of myths. So are you doing it right? Or are you falling for some common autophagy fakes? Let's debunk three big ones right now. Myth number one, you have to do a multi-day water fast to trigger autophagy. Okay, let's get real. The idea of not eating for 72 hours is daunting for most of us, and frankly, it's not the only way. Think of autophagy not as an on-off switch, but as a dimmer dial. It's always happening at a low level in your body, but certain things can turn that dial up. Intermittent fasting, like a 16.8 schedule where you eat within an 8-hour window, can significantly boost autophagy. You don't have to go to extremes. Even just skipping a late-night snack and pushing your breakfast back a bit gives your body that crucial digestive rest it needs to start its spring cleaning. So no, you don't need to embark on a three-day survival mission to get the benefits. Myth number two, coffee or tea will completely break your fast and stop autophagy. This is a huge one and it causes so much stress. Picture this, you're 14 hours into your fast, you're dragging and all you want is a cup of coffee. But you resist thinking it'll ruin everything. Here's the good news. A plain cup of black coffee or unsweetened tea has virtually zero calories. The very minor metabolic response it causes is so insignificant that it's highly unlikely to shut down the autophagy process. In fact, some studies suggest that compounds in both coffee and green tea, like polyphenols, might actually enhance autophagy. The real culprits are sugar, milk, and creamer. Those add calories and spike your insulin, which is the real off switch for autophagy. So go ahead and enjoy that black coffee. Your fast is safe. And finally, myth number three. More fasting is always better for autophagy. This is a dangerous one. Our culture loves extremes, right? If a little is good, a lot must be better. But that's not how our bodies work. Pushing fasting too far too often can backfire. You risk muscle loss, nutrient deficiencies, and hormonal imbalances. Autophagy is a process of breaking things down. You also need the opposite, a building up phase which happens when you eat. This is when your body uses the nutrients from your food to build new healthy cells and tissues. The magic happens in the balance, the cycle of fasting and feasting. It's about finding a sustainable rhythm that works for your body, not about pushing yourself to the brink in a constant state of breakdown. So to recap, you don't need to suffer through a multi-day fast. Your black coffee is probably helping, not hurting. And balance is way more important than extremism. Autophagy is a powerful tool for your health, but only when you understand how it really works. Don't let the myths hold you back from doing it right.